Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about a concept which is based upon the derivatives. Later, we will discuss about antiderivative also. So, this is the very first beginning of the derivative topic. And here, I am going to discuss about the first principles of derivative. How we are going to solve this equation using the first principle. So, uh, I will really discuss about the first principle also uh, along with this solution of this numerical. So, without any further delay, let's get started. So, while solving any kind of equation based upon the first principle, what we will do, we will assume some small increment which is will we will represent by delta x and delta y in x and y respectively to solve any kind of numerical based upon the first principle. So, I am going to write here solution and we will write let equation y equals to 2x square plus 3x minus 6. Next, what we will do? We will assume that delta x and delta y are a small increment in x and y. So, let us write here, let delta x and delta y because derivative are all about a small increment. So, we will consider that delta x and delta y are a small increment in x and y respectively. So, let delta x and delta y are a small increment in x and y respectively. So, what we will have here if we are considering that there is a small increment delta x and delta y in x and y, we will have here y plus delta y equals to 2 times x plus delta x whole square in place of x we have x plus delta x and then whole square plus 3 x will be x plus delta x minus 6. Next what we will do? We will keep this delta y on this side. So, we will have here delta y equals to 2 x plus delta x square plus 3 x plus delta x minus 6 and we will bring this y on other side. So, we will have a minus and minus y. So, y is actually 2 x square plus 3 x minus 6. So, we will have here minus 2 x square minus 3 x plus 6. Let me repeat it. What I did? We have we have we just we will just keep delta y on this side we have to bring this y on other side so while bringing this y on this side we had y equals to 2x square plus 3x my, uh, minus 6 so what i did these are positive and this is negative so on making it other side it will change its sign because y is getting minus y so minus 2x square minus 3x plus 6 will be our uh, solution up to here so what we will do next we will just open up this x square. So, we have here delta y equals to 2 x square plus 2 x delta x plus delta x square plus 3 x plus 3 delta x minus 6 minus 2 x square minus 3 x plus 6. So, now do the multiplication here also. So, we have 2x square plus 4x times delta x plus 2 delta x square plus 3x plus 3 delta x minus 6 minus 2x square minus 3x plus 6. Now, uh, we will solve this. So, we have to, we have, we, 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 we have to cancel out this. So, 6 and minus 6 and 2x square minus 2x square, 2x square will get cancelled out and minus 3x and 3x will get cancelled out. So, now we will have here uh, 4x delta x plus 
delta x whole square to delta x square actually and we have here plus 3 delta x this one now what we will do we will take delta x common from all of these three so we will have here delta y upon delta x equals to 4x plus 2 delta x plus 3 we have taken delta x common from these three terms so and on taking common and bringing in other side of equal to it will get uh, division because this is in this form c delta x times 4 x plus 2 delta x plus 3 this is in this form so what i did i brought this delta x on other side so delta y divided by delta x 4 x plus 2 delta x plus 3 will be our solution up to here now what we will do we know that uh, by first principle that is dy upon dx equals to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x so we know that delta y upon delta x equals to 4 plus 2 delta x plus 3 so we will have right here limit delta x tends to 0 i hope this is visible and delta y upon delta x equals to 4x plus 2 delta x plus 3 so now on doing the limit this portion delta x tends to 0 will get 0 so we will have here 4x plus 3 so finally we get dy upon dx equals to 4x plus 3 so this is our final answer therefore dy upon dx equals to 4x plus 3 this was only in this video see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself